All right, hi guys. Uh, in this video, we will try to understand what is infrastructure as code and what is Terraform. So, so before we start learning Terraform, we must understand what is infrastructure as code. So, if you talk about infrastructure as code, it comprises of two words, basically infrastructure and code. So, the infrastructure part is the part where we basically combine multiple units, multiple resources, uh, and we put it in a same system and we name it as a infrastructure so for example you have a web application now when you try to deploy this web application over to any cloud services be it aws azure or any kind of that you must have multiple resources uh, which makes that web app so first of all you must have a web server be it a nginx or apache server you must have some databases and then you have some load balance and then all those stuff so basically you comprise them together and you basically create a unit and that unit is infrastructure now the second part is code so code is basically the code we generally write using languages like python java javascript and all that if you have that web server you have multiple resources now if you you're not using infrastructure as code you're doing it traditionally what you will do is you go to the console of this cloud services and you basically like if you want to install some if you want to run some ec2 instances what you will do you will go to aws you will basically go to the uh, ec2 instance services and then you will basically select uh, the ami the block storage the security group the tags and all those stuff and then you basically launch that ec2 instance now suppose you want to do it like to generate or you want to launch 10 ec2 instances at the same time what you will do you will not go again and again to the console and do the same thing so to like overcome this we have infrastructure as code so what we do in the code part if we basically write all the steps think of this as steps so the steps we follow on the console like we select the ami then we select the block storage and we select the security groups and all the stuff we basically write those in the terraform file so this is what the code part is so if you talk about terraform it basically uses its own language which is form configuration languages okay so write all the resources in a declarative way and terraform will make sure that all the resources are deployed on the services which you want to deploy on so in this case uh, we have aws so this is uh, terraform and this is uh, infrastructure as code at, at a high level okay now to understand more about terraform uh, we will go part by part we will first understand the basics and then we'll go to the advanced version and for this for this video what i will do is to i will show you some code and we will try to run it and see how terraform really works to deploy or to launch some ec2 ins instances so what we'll do we'll go to the system and see how it really works so as we are in vs code you can see here we have multiple resources block okay so to create a terraform file we must use the dot tf extension okay now in that file we have multiple blocks so this is block it's uh, the uh, tcl language is quite similar to json okay or yeah it's quite similar to json okay so now what we have here is we are basically using we are using two blocks here so the first one is the provider block so the provider is the provider which we are using uh, in our case it is aws so it can be azure it can be gcp for aws we pass the region pass the secret access key and access key my environment variables have those so terraform is quite intelligent to pick that up from the environment variables so now the next part is the resource block so this is the important parts a terraform file can have multiple resource blocks so for our case we have have only one because we are using basically run an ec2 instance okay so resource block basically start with resource and the name of the resource so this part is the name of the resource so in our case this is aws instance so this resource can be anything like s3 it can be vpc or any resources which we want to launch using terraform over to aws so this is the resource type so we are using aws instance which is ec2 instance and the next one is the name of this resource this name is as a reference name this is basically if you want to refer this particular resources value inside anywhere in your code file so you can use it by using this simple like 
if you have worked with JSON, what we do, like we use uh, dot notation, we can use that using this reference name. Okay. Okay. Inside that, we have multiple key value pairs. Okay. We have multiple configurations. So the first one for for this resource for AWS instance, we have AMI. So if you have seen, like, let me show you. If we go to EC2 and if we click on launch instances, now if you launch instances, you probably need to fill all this up. Okay. So what we'll do in the code part, we will basically write that that all down here. Like for the for this part, for the AMI part, we will basically get the AMI from up here. Okay. So this is the AMI. We are using it. The second part is the instance type or our purpose we will be using T2 micro to, to be in the free tier. Okay. The second one is an basically a keyword used in Terraform. So this is a keyword account which is basically a way to like loop over things in Terraform. So using this count Terraform will run this part four times okay so as in the programming the index start with zero same goes here so it will basically run four times so zero one two three four okay and the next one is the tax part so add tax to the ec2 instances for our purposes what what i have done is like use the index here so this count will have an index as so it will start with zero it will start with one two three four and it will append that with this string so we are basically using a template literally so this is the block to basically deploy five instances of AWS in one go. So this is the power of Terraform. Okay, now let's see how we can run this. Okay, so for that, uh, I will go into my terminal. So basically for running a new project, you need four commands and if if the project is already initialized, you only need three commands. Now the first command is to initialize the project. So we write Terraform in it. So this is similar if you have worked with git or npm we do use npm init or git init to basically initialize the repository uh, in our case it will initialize the project okay so what will this command do it will basically go to the file okay and it will basically look all the resources and the provider and it will basically download all the necessary files to be used uh, for the terraform to basically launch uh, this instance or this infrastructure let's see what will happen if you use terraform in it now, as you can see the terraform is basically downloading the aws uh, hashiko version okay so it will basically download this version and as soon as it downloaded, downloads that you can see the terraform meta files uh, metadata files are here okay so all those files required to run that particular provider uh, Terraform downloaded. Okay, so initializing is done. Okay, the next command is Terraform plan. Now the plan is basically to, uh, is a command that will output all the resources which we are going to basically the all the resources which we are basically going to initialize over to the AWS. Okay, so in our case we have five instances. So Terraform will basically get all the metadata of the output or all the things which you, which will like like launched over the aws so if we go to this plan and you can see okay you can see it creates a bunch of metadata so you can see the ami we provided it it is that one arn and all those stuff will be known after apply um, that is it will be known after it gets deployed or it get launched over aws so it is it got everything as you can see the tax one we have the three here because this is the third uh, instance so we have the third appended here so this is the plan command okay now this is the plan command now we need to apply this so to apply this we have the third command that is the terraform apply this command will basically launch all the instances over to aws let's see okay it will ask you to like make sure that you are want to apply this so let's write yes over here and this will basically apply all those instances uh, in our case four instances over to aws so let's wait for a while and see how much time it will take okay okay as you can see uh, our resources have been added so we can see apply complete resources for added now this is terraform telling us that we have like added or launched your four servers over to aws so let's go to aws and see if this is true so we go to instances yeah so you can see we have four instances running here with the name see all those instances are 
initialized and it is now deployed over to AWS. Now you can see the power of Terraform here. So basically we what we did is basically write all the things we need. Terraform makes sure that all those are deployed over to AWS. Now this is a small part. Uh, before we uh, close up the video, I will basically uh, tell you about the one last command that is Terraform destroy. So this is like destroying all the resources which we previously applied. So we do that because we don't want to be charged by AWS. So Terraform destroy, it will take a bit of time. It will ask for the confirmation and it will take a little bit of time. So let, let us wait. Okay, as you can see, uh, our destroy is complete. Our four resources has been de destroyed. So now if you go to Terraform, sorry, if you go to AWS and see, you can see all those uh, services, all those instances are in the terminated state. So they are basically deleted. So this is the power of Terraform. So we, in a in few seconds, we were able to deploy four EC2 instances and we, we basically in few seconds we destroy them also so this is it deploying and removing the resources got very easy now so this is a small introduction to terraform and infrastructure as code in the upcoming videos we will get to understand all basic rules syntax and variables and all those stuff and at the end of these at the end of this series we will basically create a production level application using terraform only so we will basically have a whole application uh, running through aws terraform only so we will learn that also i hope you like the video and we will see you again thank you